What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about who could possibly be making a new Spider-Man game and whether or not Spider-Man will be exclusive to PlayStation. Also in this news is a possible return of Crash Bandicoot, which is something I would be loving to see. A Crash Bandicoot game in 2016 would probably just blow everybody's minds, especially if it's done in the same vein as the new Ratchet and Clank. I'll drop a link in the description. Crash Bandicoot and Spider-Man could be in PlayStation's future. Sony's Spider-Man may be an exclusive to PlayStation. With the recent inclusion in Captain America Civil War, Sony seems more open than ever to giving Spider-Man the love and care he so deserves. Rumors have been floating around on NeoGAF, an online gaming forum, that Sucker Punch Productions could be in the middle of development on a PlayStation 4 exclusive game featuring everyone's favorite wall crawler. Spider-Man games have been published by Activision since the early days of the original PlayStation, but there has been speculation that Sony has recently reclaimed their rights. As a potential tie-in to the upcoming Marvel film Spider-Man Homecoming, Sony could have had an exclusive cooking up behind closed doors. Sucker Punch is a talented developer that is mostly known for their work on the infamous superhero franchise. Having such an established team working on a Spider-Man game is a definite match made in heaven. Though nothing is confirmed, this could definitely work assuming Sony truly does have the publishing rights. Could Crash come home? PlayStation owes much of its success in the 90s to the orange mascot Crash Bandicoot. With the original Crash Bandicoot turning 20 years old this September, it would be the perfect time to satiate fans of the classic franchise which hasn't seen a release in years. There have been several references to the marsupials return, but one of the most noticeable ones came during the PlayStation Experience show last year when Sean Layden, chairman of Sony Interactive Entertainment, walked out on stage wearing a shirt adorned with the silhouette of Crash. That's a move somewhat taken from head of Xbox Phil Spencer who will often wear clothing that represents a certain character or game before making a correlating announcement. More recently, there have been a World of Crash related easter eggs in the upcoming Uncharted 4 Thieves End, which was developed by the same company that created Crash Bandicoot Naughty Dog. If that's true, then it's possible that the rights may have returned from Activision to Sony, similar to Spider-Man. While most of the speculation is connected by some pretty loose threads, a leak from a famed Crash Bandicoot voice actor, a leak from a famed Crash voice actor could be the missing link. Lex Lang, the voice of antagonist Neo Cortex, made a Facebook post to share his excitement of voicing, quote, a doctor, a devil, and a droid, end quote. Many have taken that quote as a reference to Crash's return. There are a lot of questions about these returning characters, but all of our answers are just a month away. With Sony's E3 conference happening Monday, June 13th, we can expect to hopefully see the return of some fantastic franchises. This would be epic. Now, I'll say this. I really enjoyed playing Infamous Second Son, the one time I played through it, for me there was really no reason to go back and try it anymore. Sucker Punch knows how to make a superhero game. They know how to make an open world. I mean, look at Infamous Second Son. The way that game looks is phenomenal. Uh, of course, the game for me fell a little flat because there was just no reason to replay it or go back and visit and do anything else. But when you look at the world, when you look at the characters, when you look at the powers, that's a great company to cultivate an amazing Spider-Man game on the PlayStation 4, especially now after creating Infamous Second Son. Crash Bandicoot, would I like to see Crash Bandicoot? Hell yeah, I'd like to see it. Now, to be honest, when Crash came out, I think I was a little bit more mature than most of the Crash gamers at that time. I wasn't really, really into it. I was playing more, uh, you know, Castlevania Symphony of the Night and RPGs and things of that nature. But I would love to see Crash kind of the same way that the new Ratchet has been done. Uh, Ratchet and Clank is a Pixar movie that you can actually play. If they can bring Crash and kind of retell some of the old stories in this new hardware, it would be amazing to see. I think it would really cultivate a new atmosphere for a lot of young gamers and bring them into the fold the same way that the young gamers love Crash in the 90s. And I think a lot of the old heads like me would buy it just for nostalgia and to be able to play it again in a new visual aesthetic. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you guys think that Sucker Punch is making the new Spider-Man game? What are your thoughts on that team up? Do you think that Sucker Punch and Spider-Man make a good team? Do you think it's possible we could see a new crash at E3? Let me know what you think below. These are a lot of rumors, a lot of speculation, but something tells me one of these is going to come true. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And follow The Beastly Gamer on Twitter and Facebook. I'm The Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.